And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create comic speech bubbles. Let us create some of these typical bubbles. You can use the rectangle tool right here. You can see that I've got a black stroke and no fill. You can adjust the stroke by holding shift, clicking on the X under the default swatches here. Open your fill and stroke menu on an object and you can see the stroke paint. You can also adjust it here, make it red for example. On a stroke style you can adjust the width, so make it thicker. I've got it set to millimeters. And you can drag this circle down. If you can't see that, make sure that the rectangle is selected and that you've got the rectangle to active. As a fill we've got it white. So you can also adjust it down here with the default swatches. Don't hold any keys when you click on one and the fill will be adjusted. Or you can go to your fill and stroke menu. And use the Bezier tool to create this shape. Close the path. Let me give it a black fill and I get rid of the stroke. Select it all, path at union. And this is how you can create that effect. You can create it in a different way. Let me show you this with the new bubble. I use the ellipse tool. I free from drag it. I'll give it a white fill, it has a black stroke. Go to object to path. Then use the notes tool and you can double click on the stroke right here to create new notes. Create three, select the middle one and turn it into a corner with this icon. And now you can drag it just like this. You can also adjust it with the handles. I've got the snapping enabled in the top right corner, so it snaps. And that will be the second way to create these, or whatever you want to call it, these triangle shapes in the speech bubble. If you want to create a thought bubble, just use ellipses. Don't hold any keys, free from drag, and reposition that. Keep in mind that when you adjust it, for example, you hold shift and control here to make it smaller, the stroke width will also be adjusted. So it gets thinner the smaller the shape is. Let us go to stroke style and this one only has 2.8. So select the size for the top one, control A, control C. Then shift click on the two other ones, select millimeters in the drop down and paste it. Ctrl A, Ctrl V, and then press Enter. If you want to add text, use the Type tool, click on it, type in some text. You can size it up, hold Ctrl when you do. Make sure the Type tool is active. Comic Sans should be installed by default. Normally in comic books you've got all caps, but you can obviously just type in whatever you want here. Choose line breaks, so simply press enter. And this is how you can create these typical comic speech bubbles in Inkscape. I hope this video is helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.